Well, I came to America in 1983 to help uh, Clyde Newhouse run Newhouse Gallery. And then I worked with him for many years, and then I started my own gallery in 1979, 1978, sorry. Um, and I specialize in European old master pictures. I sell uh, about half of them to museums and half of them to private collectors. Uh, and it's from everything from Italian pictures from 1400 to 1800, but also Dutch, Italian. I specialize in really good pictures in good condition. I've always loved old masters since I was 14 years old and I just find them fascinating. I, I think they have a mystery that uh, modern art doesn't have. Also, I, every old master picture you have, you learn something about history with it and I think European history is a great subject and uh, it's a great mixture of the two. The old master collectors are normally people who are quite conservative and they love learning about history and, uh, you know, they're not, it's not affected by, you know, fashion and, and it's a very different thing. The great thing about old master pictures is if you learn a little bit about them, they absolutely captivate you. Well, the American Museum started collecting with a great uh, vigor about a hundred years ago. And in every town in America, there are museums of European art. So everybody all over the country has grown up with a museum of European art. And, uh, you know, the American museums are still very active. And if anybody's interested in collecting, they usually go to their local museum and meet the curators, and that's how they start collecting. Well, I think, you know, every American is just as interested about, uh, you know, the history of the world. And especially, you know, every American goes to Europe in the summer and they go to all the museums and one can't, it's fascinating, you know, it's absolutely fascinating. And of course, a lot of the Americans come from European families originally, so it's, it's in their blood. Well, I think, you know, the recession has definitely hit the contemporary art very badly. I mean, the market is apparently down about 50% in some areas. But the people who buy old masters don't buy them on speculation. So if the, the, during recessions the market just slows down a little bit, it doesn't go down. So, uh, yes, I mean, ma the business will be a little bit quieter. Uh, the only problem with recessions is a lot of people are worried about selling because they're, they're frightened they won't get a good price. So the market dries up a little bit. So it can get harder to find a really good picture. But, you know, if you're patient, we, we always find them in the end.